Hey there guys, welcome to Gander Flight. Today we're talking about debadging your vehicle and whether you should use Goo Gone or a pinstripe eraser. So I really like the clean look of debadging vehicles and when I found out that all of the badges on this truck did not have alignment pins so I wouldn't have to do any body work, I was ecstatic. But I didn't know if I should use a pinstripe eraser or if I should use an adhesive remover like Goo Gone. So, I did one on one side, and one on the other side, and I want to take you through the process and let you know the, what worked, what didn't work, how I failed, the mistakes I made, and what you should do if you try to do it in the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean the area around the badges so that we have a nice clean workspace. Alright, so for this side I'm going to use the adhesive remover, and what I'm going to do is get some paper towels here and tape them up underneath because I'm going to use the adhesive remover and try and get it saturated behind there and see if these will come off with just the adhesive remover. Alright, so hopefully that will catch all the extra adhesive remover that kind of drips down so it doesn't just keep going on. So we're just going to spray some adhesive remover up on the top here, let it drip in, try and saturate it all around, let that sit. Then we'll go on the other side, we'll use the heat gun fishing wire and the pinstripe eraser and then see, you know, does this come off just with the adhesive remover alone? How, how long does it take? And we'll go from there. Right, so it's been about 15 minutes and uh, there's a little bit of wiggle in here, but I'm thinking that the adhesive remover, the Goo Gone, isn't getting back into the actual foam part of the adhesive. So we're going to take some fishing line and uh, try and remove these and then re-soak them and see if that'll be more helpful in getting that adhesive off of the truck. You know if you don't have any fishing line around you could get some dental floss. I've seen a couple of people use dental floss as well. So now we're going to spray these down and see if that will help to get the foam off. Alright, so for this side I'm going to use the heat gun, but I wanted to see if I even needed it. Um, it's a warm day, probably in the 80s, um, and I want to see if I can just use the fishing line without heating up or using an adhesive remover and see if I can just cut through the adhesive on the back of these badges or whether it really needs some sort of catalyst. That's working well. It's definitely more sticky than the other side which makes sense because one there's it's not the adhesive is not releasing at all but there's also no lubrication. But this is far less messy than using that goo gone. So off the bat I'd probably just remove the actual badges with the fishing line first. Hey, if you like DIY projects like this, like sharing your work, checking out what other people are doing, make sure you check out our group, DIYers, Tinkers, Fixers, and Makers. I'll put a link below, and uh, we'd love to have you join us over there. All right, so I've got this pinstripe eraser chucked up into the drill. Just move it around. Don't keep it in one spot too long, because as much as it's an eraser, anything with enough friction in one spot will burn through your clear coat. So just keep it moving around and just focus on the foam. Let's give it a try. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so the Goo Gone's been sitting on this side for over an hour, and it's just not doing a whole lot. Um, I knew that the Goo Gone would not be anywhere near as fast as the Pinstripe Eraser, but I wanted to know if, if I let the Goo Gone sit on the adhesive, you know, an hour, 
if it would then just be able to, to pull right off. Um, and that's not been the, my experience. So I think what I'm gonna do for this side is clean up the Gugon and then just use the pinstrap eraser and then for the rest of the badges on the, on the truck, uh, use the fishing line and the pinstrap eraser. But I didn't know, so I wanted to test it out. And maybe if I had that thought, that question, you did too. And hopefully you will gain something from this video. All right, so I think it's gonna be really hard to see it on camera, but there, just along the edges, there's some stubborn adhesive from all the badges. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is grab a magic eraser and just very lightly scrub at those with some, some cleaner as a lubricant. And rather than run through more of that eraser wheel, because I don't know how long that would take. Um, and this seems to be working. And definitely don't take any of this is what you should do on your car. This is just what I did on mine. All right, so I've also got this McGuire scratch remover. Um, it's a, a pad kit, comes with the pad for the drill and then the Scratch X 2.0. I'm gonna put a little bit on here. And work that into the spot. Oh, nice. I cannot tell where that badge was. Sweet. Very cool. Very cool. All right, there you go, guys. We got the badges off the truck, and it looks fantastic. I absolutely love the cleanness, and it just love it. So if you want to do this, what I suggest? Pinstripe eraser, hands down. Worked great. Uh, makes a lot of dust, but super easy to clean up and then uh, You know a magic eraser or some adhesive remover um, To get the last little bits along the edges worked really well for me um, and then come back with some some cleaner wax some polish at the end and It looks great. I absolutely love it and it turned out really well. So it's a super simple project um, My only caveat to you is that make sure you do some research on your specific vehicle and make sure that whatever badges you're removing don't have alignment pins. Um, on our old F-150, I did not debadge it because it had alignment holes. Uh, it would be two holes into the body that they used to align those badges, and you'd have to do body work to fill those holes in. So that's just make sure you do the research on which specific badges you're doing because some badges on the car might have holes, some might not. Uh, thankfully, mine did not, and I was able to just remove them. They were all adhesive, and the pinstripe eraser works fantastic. I'd say I used about a third, yeah, probably about a third of the eraser. So, um, and those are big, big sections of adhesive. A lot of cars don't have uh, that much adhesive, unless you're doing one of those bumper rails on the, the sides of the door. Um, so definitely worth the, um, the investment to get one of these, put it in the drill, and uh, take those off. So if you found any value in this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel, and uh, we'll catch you on the next DIY project. Take care and pay forward.